How is blockchain used in the supply chain? Blockchain is the technology underpinning the cryptocurrency, but it has many other applications. One of the ways blockchain is making waves in the supply chain is by providing a new way to keep track of inventory and other items as they move through the chain. Blockchain makes it easy for supply chain stakeholders to collaborate and share information. In addition, no one can change or delete data without everyone else knowing it. Therefore, in this video, let's talk about five use cases of blockchain in the supply chain. Number one, food safety. There are many use cases for blockchain in the supply chain, but it is especially well suited for food safety. It is very easy to track food products across the supply chain. Moreover, many food safety problems like cross-contamination are hard to track down and separate. The lack of data and supply chain visibility makes it hard to act quickly when something goes wrong, which wastes money and hurts the company's reputation. Blockchain solves this. Companies like Nestle, Walmart, and Unilever are already using blockchain to cut down on the time it takes to find and remove the source of foodborne illnesses in the supply chain, such as the case of food poisoning. Number two, traceability and transparency. Another area that has been explored in the use of blockchain is to improve traceability in the supply chain. This is particularly relevant in industries where traceability is key, such as food or pharmaceuticals. Implementing a blockchain with IoT can automatically record when products move through at different stages in the supply chain. This will mean greater visibility in the tracking process, which can help companies detect problems or issues faster. Number three, supply chain finance. Another reason a lot of people are interested in blockchain and supply chain finance solutions is because they can speed up invoice processing and make transactions more transparent and safe. Invoice payment terms are usually 30 days, but they can be even longer. As soon as the product is delivered and signed for, smart contracts can be set up that make payments right away. This can be done by combining supply chain finance and blockchain technology. Number four, supply chain logistics. People in modern supply chains have a lot of go-betweens and a lot of back and forth between them, which can cause friction and delay. There are now more third-party interactions than direct ones between suppliers, providers, and customers. According to DHL, the promise of blockchain in supply chain logistics is that transactions can be verified, recorded, and coordinated without the help of third parties. This means that global supply chains will become much simpler. Number five, supplier payments. Supply chains are made up of many suppliers and intermediaries, which can make it difficult to manage the movement of goods, goods pricing, and supplier payments. The distributed ledger technology that underlies blockchain can be used to create a transparent payment system that allows all the parties involved in the supply chain to see payment transactions, thereby reducing fraud and human error. The supply chain blockchain in the coffee industry is one example of how it can be used to pay suppliers. For example, Bext360 is using blockchain technology to make it easier to keep track of all parts of the world's coffee trade, from the farmer to the customer. This will make the supply chain more efficient. Thank you for watching this video. And now it is time to hear from you. So our question today is, as a business owner, which of these is a bigger challenge when it comes to growing your business? Is it developing the right product? Hiring the right team? figuring out the right marketing strategy, or managing operations. Leave a comment below and we'll be sure to follow up with you. Thanks for watching. It is Manu Jagarwal reminding you that if you want to change your future, take action and take action now.